This is the MSI Creator Z16 and this is a high performance premium laptop aimed at creators. I mean, it's right there in the name. Now, apart from the basics of a laptop, there are two things that really matter when it comes to a creator laptop, the display and the performance. And right on cue, the Creator Z16 packs a punch in these two areas. So is it like the laptop to get for video editors, photo editors, creators? Well, I'm gonna answer that in the end, but first I wanna get straight to this, the display. See, we all love beautiful display panels and this one's one of them. It's a 16 inch IPS panel with the 16 is to 10 aspect ratio, which is something a lot of people prefer. But the highlight of the display is the fact that it's a touch screen with a high resolution of QHD plus and a fast refresh rate of 120 Hertz. Plus this is a color accurate panel, which is important because this is a creator's laptop. It has 100% DC IP3 coverage with Delta E less than two and it's Calman verified. So yeah, it's a proper high-end display and it looks great. Watching videos like this one is amazing on this panel and I love how sharp everything looks. And even though this is no OLED, I thought the blacks were fairly good and the contrast ratio is pretty high too. Plus, like I said, it's a color accurate panel, which is handy when editing an image or footage. Also, the MSI True Color app lets you choose from different color profiles, including sRGB, Adobe RGB, and more. Now, to be honest, the resolution is not 4K, which is something I feel that MSI should have added in a Creator laptop. But the flip side of this is 120Hz refresh rate. See, 120Hz may or may not help creators, but it definitely makes everything smooth and responsive. So it's a good inclusion in this laptop. Now this is a touch display and the touch response here is pretty good. It's a very responsive display. And you can also tilt the display like this to 180 degrees and even invert the screen and use it like this. Also, this is a glossy display, which can get a little distracting, but this is also a bright screen at 400 nits. So it's not a huge problem or anything. So the display is on point from a premium laptop like this. And so is the performance. Just check out the specs of the Creator Z16. Intel Core i9 chipset with 8 cores, 16 threads, and it can go up to 4.9 gigahertz, and it has a TDP of 45 watts. There's also the 6 GB NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU with 65 watts of max graphics power and NVIDIA Studio drivers. Apart from that, there's 16 GB DDR4 RAM, which is upgradable to up to 64 GB, and there's 1 TB Gen 3 PCIe SSD, which is also upgradable. Now, let me make it clear that the Creator Z16 is available in both a Core i7 and a Core i9 variant. We have the Core i9 variant and the chipset is definitely the highlight of this laptop. It's powerful and it just makes sense in a creator laptop. Now, 3060 RTX is a slightly odd choice and it's also capped at 65 watts. Having said that, it should be fine for creators and it should speed things up when it comes to video encoding, 3D rendering, apps like CAD. Now, to give you an idea, we ran some creator specific benchmarks on the Creator Z16. And we first ran the Budget Bench Photoshop test, which runs an intensive Photoshop workflow. And the Z16 scored a total of 991, which is an amazing score because only the top systems managed to reach this mark. Now, this means this laptop will run Photoshop without breaking a sweat. Next, we ran the Budget Bench Premiere Pro test, which encodes, decodes multiple 4K and 8K videos. And in this test, the laptop scored 777, which is very good. And that means video editing, rendering should be no issues. Lastly, I ran a Lightroom test where the tool runs active and passive tasks involving sets of 500 plus images. And in this test, the laptop scored 1031, which just shows the Core i9's path. So all in all, there's no doubt that this is a powerful laptop. And we noticed that when we were just using it to render 4K videos on Premiere Pro or even while using Photoshop. So the experience with these apps on the Creator Z16 is great because the performance is just top notch. And like I said earlier, the screen is beautiful. Now, one thing I noticed while using this laptop is that there's no thermal issues or thermal throttling on the Z16, which is a really good thing. The laptop comes with MSI's great Cooler Boost Trinity Plus tech and features three high powered fans with 0.1 mm fan blades and five heat pipes. Now with the laptop set to auto thermal performance, I thought the fans weren't really used at best speeds. However, by going to the MSI Center Pro app, the system performance can be set to full with the fan set to MSI Cooler Boost and this drives the fans to full capacity and instantly cools the laptop. Now the Cooler Boost was super useful when doing an intensive task or even while benchmarking. Now the fans do get fairly loud. But yeah, it's not a big. Also, if you're wondering, there's no weird overheating on the palm rest or even on the keyboard. Now this area above the speaker grills kind of gets hot, but it's not a problem because it's away from the hands. 
So the MSI Creator Z16 delivers the performance I was expecting and this is a laptop that's also pretty interesting in the rest of the departments. First off, I think it looks really stylish with its brushed steel finish. I also like the speaker grille and the rounded corners here. The point is this gives off a very premium vibe and even though it's not the lightest laptop at 2.1 kgs, it looks pretty sleek and the weight distribution is very good. Plus, this design is military grade certified for durability. Anyway, looks apart, important things to note. First up, you can open up the lid with one hand, which is always nice to have. Next up, there is a fingerprint scanner here, which is fairly fast and consistent. The 720p webcam is also an IR camera, so there's Windows Hello support. Also, no physical privacy shutter, but there is a shortcut on keyboard for that. Now, all that is great, but I'm more impressed with this keyboard right here. This is actually the first laptop with a mini LED backlit keyboard and you get perky RGB lighting with SteelSeries engine and that means the backlight here is bright and there are different RGB profiles which you can try using the SteelSeries engine app. There's also the option to sync the RGB lights with music, put a GIF as the keyboard backlight, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Now one cool feature is that you can enable the backlighting of certain particular keys that you use a lot. So yeah, overall this is a very cool keyboard and even the typing experience is very good. I mean, this whole layout does remind me of MacBook keyboards, but that's not a bad thing because the key travel is minimal and the keys are super tactile. Trust me, you'll enjoy typing on this keyboard. As for the trackpad, it's a responsive trackpad and it's pretty wide, but I did feel it was kind of short vertically and that's because of these massive speaker grills, so I'm not complaining much. Moving on, the MSI Creator Z16 actually has four speakers tuned by Dyn Audio and Nahimic, two on the top right here and two on the bottom. See, unlike most laptop speakers, this whole setup is surprisingly good. See, the speakers here can get pretty loud and it's actually really impressive. Just listen to this. So obviously the speakers here are room filling and notice of depth as well. Plus I've noticed that there's no crackling of sound even at 100% volume. So yeah, these speakers are actually good. Coming to the ports, the Z16 has two USB-C ports and both of them are Thunderbolt 4 ports with display port support. There are also two USB-A ports, a micro SD card reader and a headphone mic combo jack. Now the ports are one area where I feel MSI could have done better. I mean, no HDMI port or no ethernet in a created laptop is a bit odd. Also, I would have liked a full-sized SD card slot, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, the battery, the Z16 has a 90 watt hour battery and comes with this 180 watt adapter. Now we did not test out the battery performance a lot because we're mostly testing this laptop with the charger plugged in. And I know a lot of the battery life stats depends on the usage type. But if you want a rough idea, in my usage, which involves a lot of Chrome tabs, some minor basic photo editing, a lot of video playback, I'd say you'll get around six, six and a half hours of battery life on this laptop. Lastly, the laptop comes with Windows 10, but the Windows 11 update is already available, which is good. So overall, to conclude things, the MSI Creator Z16 is a very solid, very good high performance laptop aimed at creators. I mean, if you think about it, it gets almost everything kind of spot on. See, the performance is great, especially with content creation apps and a special mention to the thermal performance because the Core i9 chipset can be very demanding, but MSI's Cooler Boost Tech does a very good job. Plus the QHD 120Hz panel is smooth and nice and I love the mini LED keyboard, the quad speakers are awesome and it's all packed in this really nice looking design. Now coming to the pricing, the MSI Creator Z16's Core i7 variant is priced at Rs. 2,40,990 and the Core i9 variant is priced at Rs. 2,57,990. So yeah, these are high-end laptops that cost pretty high. Anyway, what do you guys think of the MSI Creator Z16? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.